Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, we're currently at Rito Village, and we need to get uh, to find Teba so we can talk to him about going to um, Divine Beast Vermeto, who's flying, which is flying over the town. So, this I believe is his partner who was hurt. Half. Hey, buddy. I'm guessing you caught wind of that monster circling around our village. It's kind of hard not to. I, I noticed it, like, a lot. At, like, the, in the first episode. Just straight up. As we were on the tower, just looking at it in the distance. Just, yeah, it really caught my attention a lot. I suppose I should get you up to speed on what went down. Please do. Here goes. You see this wound up here on my wing? This wound up he here on my wing? I got shot by that thing in the sky, the Vine Weasel Meadow. Legend has it that the that monster was once the protector of this village. But those days are long gone. As soon as Teba and I approached the thing, it shot just shot us out of nowhere. We tried to fight back, but it was too slow and I was too slow and got hit. Thankfully Teba caught me while I was falling from the sky, and we had no choice but to retreat. When I think about what 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 would have happened had Teba not been there, it still gives me the bumps. So you plan to go find Teba? I will tell you everything I know. Who's Meadow? <laughs> Divine Beast my Meadow. And I believe it myself, but some uh, say it used to be the protector of the village uh, before dis disappearing a hundred years ago. Teba and I got to wondering about it, and when we went to investig investigate, it just opened fire on us, hence the injury. But as soon as I recover, I, c I, I plan to fly up uh, there with a whole uh, mess of bomb arrows and blow its cannons to bits. Anything else you want to ask about? Uh, d d who's Teba? Teba? Him and I go way back. As far as flying goes, he is undoubtedly the best in the village. His only downside is that he's reckless, and has a bit of a temper, and he can be rude. But we look out for each other. By the way, he was talking by the way he was talking, saying that he was going to blow Meadow out of the sky, he wants to go back up there, alone. Which is in in absolutely insane. What kind of moron would, uh, with a wife and a kid, does that? Anything else you would like to ask about? You are? Me? I'm Hearth. Bowcraft is my trade. My boyhood dream was to be a warrior, but I gave that up once it came uh, time to inherit the family business. My daughter Molly is around the same age as Teba's kid, Tulin, so our families spend a lot of time together. <laughs> Hold on, is any of this helpful at all? Okay, that's all that you have to say. Help Teba for me. I will try. So, let's look around a little bit more. Looks like a few people have gone to bed, which is not really helpful for finding where he is. The Traveler. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband, Teba, in the fight against Meadow. But to tell the truth, there is not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Where'd he go? Well, my husband headed to a place called the Flight Range. It's in uh, Dronox Pass, at the base of the Hebra Mountains. It's a place where Ruto warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Meadow. As it happens, he made his way to the flight range on foot this time. If you take off from Revali's Landing, it's a straight shot down to the flight range. Rivali's Landing is a memorial uh, f for the Rito champion Rivali. So named in the hope that none may forget the events of that horrible day.
Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong. Maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness! Descendant! Descendant, are you alright? My apologies. I fear I have said far too much. Is there anything you do not understand? Please do not hesitate to ask. I understood, it was it was fine, I just, just, just got lost in memories that I didn't know I had. Anyway, let's just head down this way. Because there was some armor in the shop that I wanted to take another look at. If I can find the shop. It's a long way down. So how much do I need for this? This is uh, the snow quill armor, which gives cold resistance, which is really good. It looks like I'm going to need a lot of rupees. 1,600, 550, so like 2,000 rupees. Hey, thanks for coming so late. Brazen Beak is open 24 hours. What can I do for you? I'm looking to sell. What are you looking to sell? Ah, no more questions. Well, we did get some stuff from some taluses, so let's just let's just go all out. I don't oh, the one thousand rupees from just that. Let's just sell all this to try and get some money. Now I think I can do like five to get enough. Oh, definitely. I'm gonna have some leftovers as well. Okay. Thanks for your business. Okay. Snow Quill Trousers. The Rito sell these trousers to Hylians in Rito Village. The inside is lined with Rito feathers. It, uh, so they, accept, they, they excel at retaining body heat. Thanks a ton! Snow Quill Tunic. Lined with molted Rito feathers, this tunic was made by Rito uh, artisans for Hylian, Hylians visiting cold climates. The feathers are stacked in each layer to retain body heat. Oh yeah, that's how you shop. Snow Quill he Headdress. A Rito accessory made from snowbird feathers. It's adorned with a ruby, a gem that's harnessed the power of fire to make cold climates more tolerable. <laughs> Going on a shopping spree, are we? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Uh... Okay, well anyway, now that all that is done, we need to head to over there actually. Since the mark is telling us to go there. And now the easiest way to go there is up this way, surprisingly. Or not really surprisingly, depending. Just go all the way. All the way. Uh, where are we? Where is everything? Well, I can... Um, I guess we can go that way and then walk around. But there's a, there's a much easier way to do this. And that is to go over here and just jump off. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a Korok over here. Let me see, is there a Korok over here? 
if I'm wrong, that's gonna be very disappointing. Okay, I'm very disappointed. <laughs> I was so sure there was a Korok over here. It might be on the other one. That'd be a shame. But anyway, that's fine. It's still possible to glide from here to this bit over here. And now, we're in a cold climate again over here. So let's watch the temperature drop. Oh, and that looks like a different thing. Let me quickly... Cold footed wolf. Oh, and it's it's so cold that it's at the second bar for cold. So let's put on all of that. It's not very defensible right now, so we're gonna actually have to level that up probably fairly soon if we want to explore extremely cold climates like this one. Also, raw gourmet meat. We needed some of this. This prized meat, uh, this prized cut of meat, is usually from a large animal. Any connoisseur would rank this tender, juicy cut of meat gourmet. Expect an uh, exquisite meal when cooking with this. Okay, we got two of those as well. Fairly simple. Also, while we're here in the snow, let's just quickly, since we've already got maxed out our, our cold resistance, we can put on the snow boots. And we can just run across the snow a lot faster. Which is very nice. Oh, there's some monsters. And also, a Tabantha Moose. Oh, come on. Let's get rid of these monsters if possible. I'm not trying to press that, I'm trying to press this, thank you. Just zap you with that, zap you again, zap you again. Oh, and this is a new weapon, apparently. Let's take a picture of that. I missed. There we go. Let's take a picture of this Dragonbone uh, Moblin Bat Club. Uh, the bone of an ancient beast uh, has been affli affixed to this Moblin Club. Further increasing its damage, Moblins carrying these in battle are particularly dangerous. Good to know. Also, there's a... There's a, uh... Oh! There's a, uh, the, the thing in the, 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 death. There's a thing in the death? I don't think that's how that works. There's a thing... There's... I can't even remember its name. There's a... Excuse you, I'm trying to take a picture of this ice Lizalfos. Ice breath Lizalfos. Let's just shock you, figuratively and literally. And let's just do some more damage, and you're dead. Okay. I see Lizalfos' tail, the severed tail of an ice breath Lizalfos. Its hard scales and flesh make it uh -uh, unsuitable for cooking, but it's perfect for making elixirs. Good to know. Wow, you are really, really wanting to die. I'm sorry, horse. This is the only way. Take that. I just gave them a shock. I didn't hit them too much. Anyway, there we go. Grab some of that. And let's have a look at this. Dragonbone Moblin Spear. This spear is a fan uh, favorite among moblins. The spearhead is made from fossilized bones adorned with spikes, which greatly increase its stabbing power. Don't have enough space for it, but it's interesting. So anyway, let's have a look at this shrine here. And then we'll keep moving. Oh, it's this shrine. Cool. Path of Hidden Winds. So, there's a lot of fans in this area, which we can use to float around, which is cool. Ooh, ooh, come on. There we go. And I believe there's going to be a few places with rewards for us. So, let's grab this for starters. Oh, is this really as high as it goes? 
50 rupees. Cool. There's no way that's... Yeah, it's not all of the chests in this shrine. I'm expecting a few super secret ones. But I'm not actually sure. Let's just keep going up. Oh, please. Please, thank you. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, it's good. It's fine. Let's climb up this ladder. Or jump up this ladder, I guess. And now, this should be... No, no secret? No secret? Really? That's surprising. Let's head up this way, though. And then... Figure out... Where to go? Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back! That's where to go. Back. Especially the back of this. Where there is another... Fan to push us up. But I'm pretty sure we're still missing that chest way over there, of course. I hope this is gonna work. Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work, please, 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 please work. Thank you. Let's open up this and get... Knight's Bow. And that should be all the chests in the shrine. Good. Oh, is this gonna work? Oh, I don't know if it will. Oh, please. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. And in we go. Nope, don't hit the wall. Okay, there we go. Well, now that that's done, let's head to the flight range. Actually, pretty busy here. You should probably go. Did you need something? I'm busy here. I can help out. Hmm. Help me? With what exactly? For meadow, of course. Let me get this straight. Some random Hylian wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Farmetto. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link, the legendary hero that you probably don't know about. Link, huh? Well, Link, I'm Teba, but you already knew that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come, uh, asked you to come here and talk some sense into me. Am I right? That's right. Just like the order to trust any fool wandering into town. Look, you seem like an alright guy, but let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rito warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. There's only one way I'm going back to Rito village, and that is... Once to find Beast Farm Meadow falls from the sky. I, if I have to kill Meadow... So be it. Only then will I return to the village. Then let's get started. Are you serious? Well, far be it from me to talk you off the ledge. But it's as the Elder said, the only way to stop Divine Beast Far Meadow is to get inside it. Fat chance of that happening, there's no way we, we can set foot in Meadow. Actually... So not only are you wingless, you're brainless too. Let me fill you in. The only people able to enter Divine Beasts are the five champions of old. 
and unfortunately for us, the rest of us, Hi us and the rest of Hyrule, they all died a hundred years ago. If that hadn't been, if it hadn't been for Ganon. Hmm. Never mind. Let's focus on bringing down Meadow one step at a time. If we approach Meadow rec recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we can even get close. So I'm going to need to test you before I take you with me. We Rito warriors use the updraft in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. The updrafts are so strong here that a person could just open up a cloth, cloth over their head and float up easily. Now let's see what you're capable of. You'll have to maneuver through the air and destroy five of the targets sat up in this valley in three minutes. Alrighty. Then go destroy five targets with your arrows. Okay. Let's do it. Glide. We need to hit a few of these targets. And the nice thing about this, um, everything here basically, is that when we use the updrafts it actually restores our stamina as well. I think it's that's what's destroying a stamina. Yeah. So anyway, it's not that hard to actually hit five targets. Okay, come back. Come on back. It's just so easy to hit all the targets. It doesn't take long. As long as you don't accidentally fall to your death. You're a skilled archer. It was as if time stopped with every arrow you let fly. I've got to tell you, Link. When you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. But after seeing you handle that bow, I can tell how I can tell you're the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. I've seen a few. Don't be modest. I can tell just by looking at you. Link, I feel I've heard the name somewhere before. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Meadow, it's now or never. I'll get you into position so you can give its cannons all you've got. Inside that treasure chest is a bow I've modified. Take it, and let's let me know when you're ready. Falcon Bow, a highly refined Rito made bow crafted by a master Rito craftsman. Rito Warrior's favorite for its superior fate a rate of fire, which helps them excel even further at aerial combat. Oh, my inventory's full. Oh, man. Let me... drop something. I guess it's the same as my other Falcon Bar. But anyway, let's grab that. Probably want to equip that as well. I guess it's the same as this. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, it's time to face to find Beast Farmetto. Normal arrows won't put a dent in those cannons. You'll need to hit them with bomb arrows. These are a precious commodity. So, don't expect me to do this again, but take these bomb arrows. Get 20, which is really good. Also, it'll be cold up there. If you want to prepare uh, a warm meal or some, or bring some warm clothes, I'm ready. All right, but let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Why are you risking your life to bring down Meadow? Uh, I just can't watch. You can't just sit and watch innocent people be terrorized. Then imagine how I feel as a proud Rita warrior. That's fair enough. Right, get on. Alright, it's showtime. Man, even I feel... I feel like I'm going to freeze up here. There's Divine Beast Far Meadow. It has its barrier up again. What a pain. What's wrong, Link? 
Too scared to talk? Let's go over the plan. You see those cannons? I'll draw their fire. While I'm doing that, you use your bomb arrows to destroy their cannons. Got it so far? If you need to withdraw for a bit, just spread your cloth and float straight up in the updraft draft for a while. I'll take that as a sign that we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by Meadow's Barrier. It's impenetrable. And whether you do, don't get close uh, enough to touch it. And finally, I know I've said this a few times already, but don't forget your cold protection. We can move whenever you're ready. Let's go. Alright. Now, go blow up those cannons. It's up to you. So yeah, this whole thing has an updraft for us to use, which is very useful. And we need to be careful not to get hit. Okay, bomb arrows are equipped automatically, which is good. Let's try and hit this cannon. I don't know, yeah, we do need to hit it multiple times, so let's try that again. There we go. That's, That's one down. There are four. One for each edge, I guess. So let's just keep going. And it's not that hard to dodge the lasers, which is good. Everything all right? Let's away. drop down. And let's try shooting this cannon a few times. There we go. Very good. It's fairly simple, as long as you don't get killed. You know, as, as long as the one thing that's the problem is not a problem, then it's fine. Also, don't accidentally touch the barrier. What's wrong? Let's go down. Oh, right, this is not a great angle. Okay, let me just get a little bit closer. Yeah, this is not a great angle. I need to head back a bit. Okay, maybe this will work. Yes, good. One more. One more. Burn hot. I'm fine. They won't. They're gonna miss. It's fine. I'm moving too fast Burn for them hot. to hit me. Okay, let's hit you, please. Oh, I missed. I need to be careful not to die by running out of stamina. And there we go. We did it. Well done, Link. That thing is history. Well now, I've seen that face before. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? 
If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? Why'd you get hit? <laughs> I didn't get hit. I just, uh, anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.